Our next video discusses scanning electron microscope images. There are many different ways that these can be presented to us, but there's a few quick guidelines for you to adhere by. In this image that was submitted to us, we do have the microscope generated information in the bottom left corner, as well as the scale bar. Notice how there's arrows pointing to the image with no explanation. The correct version of this micrograph is below. Notice where the, the arrows point to information. There are texts that clearly delineate what is being referenced to. The font within the image is legible in Arial size 10 font or larger. The scale bar is the only information that we require you to include in the bottom right hand corner with an appropriate scale bar size and the respective unit of measurement. For scanning electron micrographs, you do not need the microscope generated information that can be removed or cropped from the photo. Also, take notice that the panel lettering that delineates between each figure, A and B, can also be placed in the upper left or upper right hand corner in Arial size 12 font. Again, this is a legible font for when readers view your paper. Looking at a next example, this was an image submitted to us that was missing a scale bar. In the correct version, we have the appropriate size scale bar with the unit of measurement. Notice there is a space between the numerical value and the unit of measurement. As we continue, this is another example of a set of images that were submitted. The bottom bar of information is microscope generated and can be omitted, as well as there are missing panel letters and a scale bar that needs to be incorporated. If we look below, the correct guidelines are followed in this set of images. We have our panel letters located in the top left corner in a legible font. We have the newly incorporated scale bar with the respective units of measurement included in a legible font. And beneath this, the author decided to include the magnification information that was once included in the white bar in the figure caption. This better represents to show the images their correct magnification as opposed to including a bar on, across the bottom of the image. Again, I'll quickly scroll through and show this image beforehand, which has the white bar of microscope information, microscope information and the newly accepted image without the information and the correct information delineated in the figure caption. Moving on, we have another case of an image submitted where the microscope generated information is still left on the image. In this figure on the left hand side, we have the black bar containing microscope generated information, as well as there's no space between the numerical value and unit of measurement in the scale. When submitting to the journal, please be sure to crop this information from the bottom of the image and insert an appropriate scale bar in the lower right hand corner. This last set of images includes multiple images that were submitted. The panel letters were moved to the right hand corner as opposed to the left hand corner and enlarged, as well as the microscope genera generated information on the bottom of the image was removed and the appropriate scale was inserted in the bottom right corner. When making your scale bar, please be sure that the length of the bar is an appropriate measurement for your unit of measurement. Simply do not create a bar and include the unit of measurement, but ensure that the bar is measured correctly to the appropriate size.